And certainly there's no relief yet for cash-strapped South Africans after the unchanged rates announcement by the South African Reserve Bank yesterday. That means no significant change in how current soaring debt levels can be addressed. Many South Africans simply drowning in debt. Let's bring in Anneli van der Poel from Debt Rescue. Thank you for being with us, Anneli. Is it true that we are more indebted now than ever before across the board as South Africans? And good evening. Unfortunately, yes, it is. Um, you know, based on, on the uh, economic climate that we've been seeing for the past uh, you know, two years specifically with, with the interest rate hikes, South Africans are drowning. We're really struggling. Um, the cost of living crisis on the one side of our budgets and, and uh, soaring debt repayments because of interest rates on the other side, absolutely, we're in a very difficult position. Is, is there an idea of numbers, how many South Africans are struggling to meet their contractual obligations um, and also just to get through the month? Officially, uh, the last statistics we got was in um, the third quarter of last year. So it, it's not, uh, you know, it's up by about six months. But at that point, it was just under 10 million um, South Africans, credit active South Africans. And if you take into account, there's roughly 25 million. Um, it puts it at, uh, you know, roughly a third of, of, of um, credit active, more than a third of credit active um, South Africans are struggling to repay their debts officially. Okay, so one in three at least struggling and the relief that was Absolutely. due to come in terms of falling interest rates has been pushed out economists are now talking about later this year even next year is that a huge blow it's a massive blow um you know the, the reality is the unfortunate factor that's that's been the biggest contributing one is the, the inflation the fact that we are not getting inflation to the 4.5 which is what the reserve bank wants uh, is what's halting the, the interest rates coming down and we've seen that um you know, across the world, they're at least starting to see scenarios where they, they um, you know, uh, inflation is going down and then subsequently, eventually, their interest rates also start coming down. Ours isn't doing that. And for as long as it, it doesn't, the Reserve Bank minus, uh, the Reserve Bank governor has been cautioning us for quite some time that uh, until it stabilizes, we will not be seeing relief. We'd hoped we would. We desperately need it. But um, realistically, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. So with inflation going up, interest rates not coming down, uh, could things get even worse before they get better? Um, unfortunately, yes. I mean, e each month inflation erodes our, our expenses, you know, expense or, or, or our disposable income, by, because our expenses are increasing, which means we've got less and less money available. Um, and, you know, even though the interest rates may have stabilized, they're not going up anymore, our cost of living is increasing. So it is getting tougher every month. And until we start seeing the relief from the interest rates, um, it, it, every single month we are, in essence, uh, you know, moving backwards, for lack of a, a better explanation. We're becoming poorer because we're paying more for, for our expense side and our debt side, uh, our debt element is remaining, is remaining constantly high. So definitely it, it, it is going to get worse if, if we do not see um, you know, interest rates reducing soon. So Debt Rescue is one of those offering debt reviews, restructuring, uh, the, the whole idea of restructuring and paying what you can afford. And it can be positive, but to what extent is it negative? Um, to what extent does it stop you from getting debt in future when the banks ask, have you been placed under debt review, for example? I'm, I'm glad you asked that question because that is something that a lot of people um, you know, misunderstand. And then that's the thought that if I've been under debt review, I can never get credit again. And that's not true at all. Um, we've seen thousands of, of consumers who've successfully completed the debt review process, repaid their debt, and very successfully re-entered the credit markets, bought homes, bought vehicles, um, obviously got credit cards and the likes. So um, I think, uh, uh, like you say, that that's a misunderstanding out there and definitely not true. We, we see it every single day where consumers re-enter the credit market successfully, uh, you know, with, with a clean slate and able to, to start their, their credit active life again. How many people would you say are successful in terms of starting in a black hole of debt and then coming out the other side? It's difficult to put a percentage to it. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, 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 I want to say, not a new industry, but I mean, we've been around for 16, 17 years now. 
but I, I, it, so I can't give you an exact percentage. Unfortunately, only the regulator would, would have that kind of statistics. But I would say it's pretty high. Um, you know, it, it might not necessarily go the path that a consumer initially thought. Some of them exit a lot faster, especially how, if, you know, if, uh, for example, they, their circumstances changed for the better dramatically. That happens quite often. Um, some of them, you know, might face some more uh, financial struggles uh, along the way and might stay under a little bit longer. But, um, you know, th there's a very, very high success rate and a very um, positive outcome for the, for most South African consumers who, who complete the process. And, um, you know, they get the relief that they need. They get that legal protection that they so desperately need um, and, and the ability to move away from debt because uh, most of them, unfortunately, end up in a debt spiral if they don't seek help. All right. Thank you very much. Annelie van der Poel from Debt Rescue.